you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Got my miracle throw. Thank you, Lord. I'm happy. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> but happy. I got on back. Yeah. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Regina. How y'all doing? Oh, it's a praise party today. <laughs> Keep my ear out. Thank you, thank you. How's everybody? Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? My little boy keeps making noise. It must mean something good is about to happen. <laughs> How's everybody this morning? Thank you, Father. He's good, y'all. What's Tuesday? Okay. What is it? Whatever. I hope I'm knocking something down back here. Y'all good? Oh, I don't have my watch on. It's 558. Let's go in and tell the Lord thank you this morning. Y'all, the struggle is over. Type that in. Speak it over your life today. If I can get my hair to lay down. Speak it over your life today. <laughs> the struggle is over. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Father. Uh, the struggle is over. The struggle is over. And that's okay. I looked on my iPad to see what time it is. Good morning. Y'all ready to pray? Y'all ready to thank the Lord for this day? Hi, Cash. Good morning. Hey, Tab. I'm on. Uh, Y'all share the video. Y'all ready to pray? Thank you, Jesus. Type it in. Get in your spirit this morning that the struggle is over. Man, it's just resonating with my spirit this morning. I'm so excited. We're going to just briefly go to 1 Peter 5 and 10, which is my favorite scripture. Uh, it's a scripture that I stood on when my life was upside down. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys today. Uh, we finished last day of nursing school. That, did you say last day of nursing school? Yes. Congratulations. You know how I feel today. It's been, oh, it's been a struggle, y'all, but God is faithful, and he will bring us through every single time. So let's go ahead and go in, and I tell the Lord, thank you this morning for his goodness, for his grace, for his mercy, for seeing us through, for just allowing us to come out of the struggle, for allowing us to emerge from the fire, uh, not even smelling like smoke. We have a shirt that says fireproof, because that's what we are, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they emerged from the fiery furnace, they didn't even smell like smoke. Not even a strand of their hair had been singed, because God protected them. And know that God protects us in the fire. God is protecting you in the fire. And I am just so elated this morning to know that God's hand provides God's hand protects and I'm just so thankful this morning that he will bring us through every single obstacle that we face so God this morning we thank you uh, for those who are in a struggle this morning for those who are in a storm this morning for those who feel they're in hell's fire this morning Lord we just thank you because we know according to your word that you will bring us out of the fire uh, not even smelling like smoke God according to your word that after we suffer for a while you will settle us and perfect us and establish us God and we thank you that our struggle won't last always we thank you that the struggle would not last always so God, this morning, we just want to say thank you. We want to thank you, God. We speak it over our lives this morning. You have given us the power in our own tongues to speak life or death. And so this morning, we speak life. We thank you for life. We thank you for joy. We thank you for peace. We thank you, God, that the struggle is over. We declare it. We believe it by faith, and so shall it be. God, thank you for seeing fit to breathe new air into our lungs today, God. We thank you. Thank you for just bringing my family, the warrior nation, back together with me again today. Lord, you're good. You're good. It's the essence of who you are. You can't be anything outside of good. So we rejoice in your goodness today. We rejoice in your holiness today. We rejoice in your righteousness today. You are the Lord and you rule and reign. Father, please bless our time together. You're so good. You're so good. Lord, we just worship you. We magnify you. We adore you. You're so faithful, God. You're so faithful. Holy Spirit, you're the teacher. There's somebody out there that needs a word today. Holy Spirit, we trust that you will give us exactly what we need, as you always do. Our ears are itching for a fresh word from the throne room, a word that we can go on, a word that we can put in our hearts to hold on to when times are hard. We thank you, Jesus. We love you. We bless you. Bless our time together. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, Warrior Nation. The struggle is over, y'all. The struggle is over. Let me give you the weather forecast really quickly. Today's your birthday. Happy and blessed birthday. What's today? August the 25th of 2017. We've got August, September, October, November. Four months left. What is it, Brittany? I thought you were looking. We got four months left in this year, y'all. And I believe we're going to go out with victories all over the place. I believe we're going to go out with miracles, experiencing miracles all over the place, even more miracles. I believe that we're going to experience more breakthroughs and more deliverance. Because you know what, y'all? We are in position. 
that I do know. Uh, getting up every morning and coming together and just saying, God, you're good. Lord, you're faithful. You know, we know that God is well pleased with what we are doing. So with that being said, y'all, um, this morning it's 70 degrees in Jackson, Mississippi uh, with a high of 90. A mix of clouds and sun during the morning will give away to cloudy skies this afternoon. High near 90, as I said, and the winds are coming out of the east, northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. I'm really excited today because I'm finished with school. Wow, I am so thankful. This has been such a journey. Uh, when I finished, when, when I graduated in May, I graduated um, under the conditions that I had two classes left to complete. And, and so I did that. I finished in May with a 4.0, but I still had two classes to complete. And, you know, I thought those last two classes, you know, it would just be, you know, finishing up your last two classes. But they were very challenging uh, to go along with. Uh, a growing ministry, you know, and then God giving a blessing us with warrior apparel and then still working a full-time job and raising five children and being a wife. And I just thank God today because he's faithful. I mean, if I cry, it's because I'm happy. This has been one of the hardest things I think I've ever done in my life because for one thing, the enemy doesn't want me to know more about God. The enemy doesn't want us to know more about the word. And that's why he fights us. That's why he tries to keep us from getting to our word. That's why he allows us to get sleepy when we try to have time alone with God or in our Bible. He doesn't want us to know because the minute we know more about who we are, the minute we know who God is and how he reveals himself through scripture then the more power that we have and we already know that the enemy does not want us to know who we are in Christ he does not want us to see how God reveals himself through scripture he wants to convince us that the word is stale that it's not relevant or that just hearing Sunday morning the Sunday morning sermon is enough but it's not enough because the Bible says to study to show thyself approved we're to rightly divide the word of truth and so even though this has been taxing it's been hard I've told I've cried I've lost a lot of sleep over these past 13 months but one thing I can say today is that I made it and it was God's grace and his grace alone because this has been one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. My doctorate in nursing was not this hard. And my mother died right before I finished. This has been so hard, but I can sit before you today and say, God brought me through it. And as I sit here before you today and say, God brought me through it, I want you to know that God is bringing you through too because he is no respecter of persons. And what he does for one, he will do for somebody else. And so I'm just thankful this morning that I can open my mouth and say, you know what? The struggle is over. The struggle is over. A few months back, I remember speaking over my life, and I told my husband, I wasn't just talking about school. I was tired of struggling in every area of my life, tired of struggling in my finances, you know, tired of struggling with my kids, tired of struggling on my job. And I just opened my mouth one day and said, you know what? The struggle is over. It is over. I'm through scrambling around. I'm through not having enough. God is a God of more than enough. But one of the things I used to always say was, I just can't do this, or this is so hard, or this is this, or this is that. And what I was experiencing was the fruit of my own lips. But then I started to say, no, mm -mm, I'm done struggling. This year, I've been speaking all year, will be the year of the manifested promise. And sure enough, that is exactly what is happening in your life and in mine. So I want to encourage you guys this morning to hang in there. If you're finishing up with school, congratulations. I know the struggle. I've gone to school for a long time in many different things. But God has brought me through every time. And not only did he bring me through, he brought me through on top with a 4.0. And so, no, you don't have to have a 4.0, but I desire one. And I thank God that not only did I do it by his grace, but but I did it well. You know, we don't just run our race, y'all, but we finish our race and we finish it strong. Let me share a testimony with you guys. Um, I'm wearing the I Am Healed hoodie. It is one of my favorites. I don't know. I love the way these hoodies are made. It's on the site. Brittany has the link and also the blanket. Thank you. So many of you guys have ordered. I'm going to put this order in, our first order in for our Miracle Throws within the next 72 hours. So if you if you plan on getting one in the first round, I called the lady yesterday and I said, are you sure it's going to take four weeks each, each time? She said yes and hopefully not longer after your first order. Order. She said, but you know, school is starting back and Christmas is coming. And so, you know, she said she can try to get it done. This order will come back within four weeks. But she said subsequent orders could possibly take a little longer. And I really want you guys to have these um, in time for Christmas in case you want to bless somebody with these blankets for Christmas or you want to bless yourself with one. So, you know, if you're not in a, if you're fine with getting yours whenever, then we'll keep making orders. But for those who are ready to get their blankets, I made them a little heavier than what you see right here because I want you guys to be. 100% please uh, with your blanket so you're going to get one that's a little this one is 2 pounds you're going to get one that's 2.4 pounds and it's going to be great and your feet are going to be warm and you're going to be able to take it to the football games and everywhere else that you go because our mission one of our missions as the warrior nation is to send the word out 
And that's what we're doing. I don't care if it's on socks. I don't care if it's on a cup. I don't care if it's on a hat. Whatever. We're going to send the word out. Okay, Brittany's got a testimony. Then we're going to jump into 1 Peter 5 and 10, and we will be done. Uh, thank you guys for your prayers. Thank you for your support yesterday with the prayer link. It went very well. Uh, we improvised, but it was great. And I just want to thank you guys and tell you how much I love you. When you get this blanket, you will not be disappointed. You're going to be so... You're going to feel like a kid and y'all when my I should have videoed it. When my box came, I started screaming because it came sooner than I expected. I said, That's my throat, that's my throat. Ah! I got a microphone, I can't be too loud today. I said, That's my throat and I heard and got in my box and then I just took it and just said, Oh, I got my throat. So well guys, I mean, I don't expect y'all to maybe act like that, but ladies, you're gonna be excited. The nursing shirts will be available very soon. It's already ready to go. All right, y'all ready? Here's a testimony. Then we're going to get into 1 Peter 5 and 10. Watch. Y'all need to record yourself when you get your blanket and send them to us so we can post it. Because when I'm telling you, I hollered and screamed for like 15 minutes and wrapped myself all up and put it over the top of my head and I was ready to go to bed. Oh, man, it's just this. Y'all think the shirts are something? Wait till you get this throw. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Here we go. A testimony. This morning, I decided. Y'all share the video. Please, Facebook Warriors, let's get to, let's share this video this morning. It's Friday. Everybody's been in a good mood. They should want to hear a blessing from the Lord. Okay, here we go. This morning, I decided to wear one of my several tees to work. After listening to you this morning, I decided to step out on faith. You see, yesterday, I purchased my airline ticket for the I Am Woman conference. The fare was way more than I anticipated, and I paid for it using money earmarked for something else. So this morning, I decided to do something radical. God loves when we do radical things, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I asked God to give me back the funds I spent spending for this conference, meaning what she's spending, what she's going to spend. And about 20 minutes ago, I was blessed with the cash, all caps, that covered more than the cost of my flight for no apparent reason than God's grace and he gets the glory. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayer. Thank you, Kelly and team, for stirring up my prayer life and reviving me and revving me up to take a step out on faith. God is truly amazing, y'all. And she sent the picture of herself in the shirt. So she asked for the money back that she spent getting her flight and booking her room for the conference. And did she say 20 minutes later? 20 minutes later. Hey, bestie. 20 minutes later. The Lord bless her with the money in cash back. So why don't you try praying it this morning? Let's see, what do I want to be reimbursed for? I want to be reimbursed for the expense I just paid on my car. I got one. And then we're going to go into 1 Peter 5 and 10 really quick. So after I read that testimony the last week or the week before, where one of our sisters, was, her car was running hot, and she took her T-shirt and put it in her glove compartment, and then she took it to the mechanic, and he drove the car around for like two hours, and... You know, her car checked out fine. It's been doing fine. After that, that same morning, I went outside. My car, I could smell like some oil or something, like burning over the exhaust. Not the exhaust. I think that's in the back. Something under the hood. Something that wasn't supposed to be happening was happening. How about that? I'm not a mechanic, but it wasn't right. I could smell a little bit of the oil uh, burning from somewhere that it shouldn't be. And I took the shirt. I was like, man, if God did it for her, then I'm going to try. He's doing it for all the warriors. I took my shirt. Laid it on the outside of the of the trunk. Hood. Sorry, not a mechanic. The front of the car. <laughs> Check this out. I took my Miracle shirt. Laid it. This is the same car that I took two shirts and laid on top of and God cut the price $20,000. And so then I took the shirt, laid it on the hood of the car and said, Lord, I believe in miracles. Whatever this oil smell is, God, I need to go away. Because I'm not, I don't want to spend any money. And it was going to be very expensive. Was, hear me now, to fix that oil. What seemed to be like an oil leak or just something was not right. So I took it off, got in the car and started driving. I said, I still smell it. Now, I know I just prayed for a miracle. So anyway, I was like, man, I know God's going to work it out. I, I'm, I believe. Like, I don't care that I still smell this, like, whatever this is. I trust God. So later on the day, I take it to the oil light comes on. says oh, one quart low. I'm like, okay, here we go. So I take it to get serviced. And I end up needing two tires and brakes and all that kind of stuff. But in the process, they looked at my car. And said they were going to call me back, you know, and tell me what was going on with the oil. When they called back, y'all, guess what? What's wrong with my car is on factory recall. It goes in the shop Monday. I didn't tell you, Brittany. No. It goes in the shop Monday. And guess what, y'all? Your girl's not going to have to pay a dime. They said it's on recall. They said, ma'am, please bring. I had to call the actual service place. They said, ma'am. I said, I told them what was happening. They got quiet. They said, oh, ma'am, we got a recall on this, on this. Exactly what you're talking about. We, we're going to give you a loaner vehicle on Monday. Bring this one in. What time can you be here? So the oil smell didn't go away right away. But 
is covered. Somebody say Jesus paid it all. I didn't even tell Brittany this. So that's what I did. Like, even though I put it on the hood and I still, hood, yeah, and I still smelt it. Look at that. That same day I took it in for my tires, two tires, and they said, we really think this is under warranty. So then I called the actual manufacturer of the car and they said, now how soon can you bring your car in here? We got some things we need to fix on your car. Not only is it, under, it wasn't under recall, it was under campaign. Recall, he told me, was when the federal government issues a recall. He said, no, this is from the actual makers of the car. We need your car back to fix it. We're going to get your car back in good condition, ma'am. It's going to be great. Bring it in Monday morning. God is the God of miracles. He didn't do it the way I thought he was going to do it, but guess what? He did it better because now it's going to be fixed from the people who created the vehicle. He's faithful. Be encouraged. Jesus, y'all. He's faithful, y'all. Okay. Quick word today. Quick word. 1 Peter 5 and 10. Y'all there? Thank God for apps and stuff these days. Because if I had to turn pages, y'all be like, Kel, you are taking too long on this video. I got to go to work. You taking all day to get to it. But thank God I can just take my finger. And get to my favorite scripture, which I already have memorized, by the way. But just for formality's sake, I will read it. Thank you, Father. In his kindness, this is First Peter 5 and 10. I stood on this scripture. You know, I just really wish my hair was laid down. It's exciting, too. So, um, First Peter 5 and 10. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So, after you've suffered a while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you. And he will place you on firm foundation. All power to him forever. Amen. I remember when I was praying and fasting for my husband and twins. Y'all know I got both. I kept saying, Lord, but you promised me in your word. Let me read you to it in the message version. Let's make it plain this one so we don't get it twisted. Check this out. Oh, T Terry says, I know the difference between a campaign and a recall now. Me too. I learned that. Keep a cool head. Stay cool, y'all. God is working it out. Thank you. That's a shirt. <laughs> Be cool. God is working it out. The devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. Keep your guard up. You're not the only ones plunged into these hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on the faith. The suffering won't last forever. It won't be long before this generous God, who has great plans for us in Christ, eternal and glorious plans they are, will have you put together and on your feet for good. Y'all, it didn't say for a little while. Y'all, it says on your feet for good. He gets the last word. Yes, he does. He gets the last word. Yes, he does. He will have you put together and on your feet for good. Type it in. I'm on my feet for good. I am on my feet for good. One of the things that I went through this year or in this process of God beginning to lift me um, as the struggle began to ease up, even though I still have challenges, y'all know we, we still have challenges, but just some of the areas I was struggling with, as God began to ease it up, in my heart, I had this fear that the blessing was temporary. And because I had struggled for so long that I felt like my, even though God was making a way for me and even though God was beginning to open doors for me, I had this fear, you know, that I was going to lose y'all. And I had this fear that the struggle was going to come back and, and the things, like I told you, like the bankruptcies I've had and the foreclosures and the repossessions, five of them, you know, or another divorce. Like I was just afraid that those things that I had been fighting in my past were going to resurface. Like, yes, I'm happy right now, you know, but it's like it's going to be temporary. Like something may happen and I'm going to lose it. And then I realized, you know what, according to this, it says, I'm going to put you together and on your feet for good. And this time, y'all, we're on our feet for good. We're not going to allow the enemy to come in and make us think that this blessing, that these miracles that we are experiencing, these breakthroughs and these healings and these reconciliations and financial deliverance is temporary. No, you can flip whenever you get ready to first Peter five and 10 and you can say, you know what? I'm on my feet for good. The struggle is over. I have struggled all my life, but guess what? I'm done. Yes, there may be opposition. Yes, I may have trials. But one thing I know, God has me on my feet. As long he has us on our feet and we need to stay on our faces before him. Like as long as we stay in this position of prayer in this position of humility and we keep coming before the Lord, y'all, I promise you, I promise you, he's going to keep you on your feet. I had such a fear of losing it. I had such a fear of not finishing school, you know, of not being able to juggle it all. But God is faithful, y'all. He's faithful. 
Say it. You see, say it. I'm on my feet for good. Type it in. I am on. I want you to get that all deep down in your spirit today. The devil is a liar. The blessings that God is bestowing upon you, the miracles that you are celebrating, the healings. No, these are not temporary. You got to get in your spirit and say, Lord, I thank you that what you're doing in my life, the good that is finally coming to my life is here to stay. It's good. It's good. It's here to stay because you said in your word that you, after a while, see the suffering was never meant to last forever. It was temporary. It was to make us better. It was to build our character. I'm not saying we won't have trials or things that's going to make us stronger, but know that God has put you on your feet for good. I want you to keep speaking that over your life every day. I'm going to write it on my mirror in my bathroom and just declare it over my life so that the next time the enemy tries to come in and say, you know what you're experiencing right now is temporary. He's a liar because God said right here that he has put me and you on our feet for good. See, God would never tell you that. The blessing of the Lord make us rich and add no sorrow. So when God blesses you with something, you don't have to be afraid that you're going to lose it. The devil's a liar. You know, even like another vehicle, because I've lost so many, I've been hesitant, you know, to get something else. Because like, I don't want to get something that I would lose that the enemy would take from me. But no, 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 no. This time, when the timing is right, I can ride off and know that it's paid for and that I'm not going to be embarrassed. Nobody's going to come and haul it off. Because this time, I, I've used wisdom. This time, I was in the presence of the Lord. And this time, the Lord has put me on my feet for good. He's put you on your feet for good. The next house, it won't be with a big pink sign on that says foreclosure. I've had that struggle already. I've learned from that. The next time when God gives me my miracle house, it's going to be because he knows that I can handle it and because I can be sustained in it. I don't. I was in my other house that cost half a million dollars for six months and we lost it. Six months. And in that six months, we struggle every single month to pay the bill. But this time, I'm walking in in victory. When God gives it to me, it's because he knows I can handle it. And I'll have it until I'm 100 if that's where I want to live. You know, it's like this time around, we're perfected and we're settled and we're on our feet for good. This time with restored credit, it's here to stay. When God fixes our credit this time, because people have told me they got their miracle shirts over their credit reports, just different things you believe in God to do. Just know that this time, because we're going to use wisdom, it's here to stay. I want you guys to be encouraged. Even with the prayer link. And then we're going to go into prayer really quickly. You know, we have struggled. You guys know. Charlene and I were supposed to do that prayer link together every week. In the beginning, you know, like the graphics and things that you see at the beginning of, Charlene, of the thing with Charlene and her pink shirt. You know, I, I'm on those graphics too. We did that, that photo shoot together. And the enemy came in and tried to destroy what God said we would have. But see, God told us from the beginning that we were going to have a show together on TV. And then all hell broke loose. And all these things, all every week, she could do a prayer link with anybody else and it works. But with me, we always had struggle. But that's how you know you're on the edge of something. Because if there was no struggle, if there was no opposition, if the enemy wasn't fighting you, it's because you're not dealing with, you're not touching, you're not tapping anything. But one thing I know, God gave us a promise. And he gave us that promise from the beginning. And so even though we had to do it the way we did it yesterday, it was done in excellence. And I'm thankful because God still gave us strategies. We thank God for strategies today. We thank God for strategies, and I know that God is going to put us back together again. Not just because I want to be with Charlene, because I want to be with Charlene, I can go see Charlene. But because, not only that, but it's for a higher purpose. The struggle made the testimony. The struggle, thank you, made the testimony. Know that your struggle is what is making your testimony. So be encouraged today. God is faithful. He's perfecting you. He's settling you. He's establishing you. And he has put you on your feet for good. Get that in your spirit today. Let's go into prayer. Uh, make sure you share this. She says, without struggle, there's no progress. Make sure you share this. Make sure you get your miracle throw. Because I'm going to make that first order very soon. And it's amazing. I love you guys so much. Register for the women's conference. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about everything. As soon as we're done with that, we're going to start talking about prayer fest. It's going down somewhere in some city near you. If it's not Atlanta, it'll be somewhere. We're going to do a prayer fest next year because we have to come together as a family. We have to. We have to do it every year. So let's pray this morning. The struggle is over. God has put us on our feet for good. And I celebrate that today. I'm just going to go deeper. We're coming off our jobs next week. You know, we're, we're dropping down our jobs. And I just know that God is providing. Uh, I know that the struggle is over. This is not temporary. I'm not going to step down from my job and then think that God's going to let me miss out. No, I've been struggling all my life. But guess what? The struggle is over. <laughs> Brittany says over for me and for you. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your word, God. Oh, how powerful it is. We stand on it today. According to 1 Peter 5. Thank you, Father. We th I'm sorry, First Peter, what is it? Yeah, what is it? Eight, though, right? First Peter 17? Okay. 
All right, verse 8, 5 and 10, we thank you, God, that we struggle for a while. If we suffer for a while, you perfect us and set us and establish us. We are established today in you. You allow us to share in your eternal glory with Christ Jesus. So we thank you for this morning. As I always ask you, and you're answering our prayers every day, God, to go before the warrior nation and make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. I thank you, Father, they are safely out of the reach of their enemies, and I thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and I thank you that every mouth that is opened up and spoke negative against my family, the warrior nation, it shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. God, thank you that you embarrassing our enemies. Thank you that you embarrassing those who set out to destroy us. Thank you that you embarrassing those who laughed and said there is no God and that God would not deliver, that you would not deliver. We thank you, God, today that we are walking testimonies, walking miracles of your faithfulness and of your ability to restore and to deliver and to reconcile and to heal and to provide miracles and perform miracles. God, we thank you that we're examples of it. We honor you today, God. We bless your name, Father. Enlarge your territories. Grant them favor. Open doors from today that no man can shut. God, promote them. God, thank you for promotion. We speak into the atmosphere today. Good news, pleasant phone calls, victory dances, unexpected checks in the mail, unexpected credits in your bank accounts. We speak them forth. If you're doing it for one, God, you do it for another. Refunds, God, thank you. Back pay. Hmm? Restitution. We thank you for it, God, because our hands have to be strong for the church. A strong church is a strong community. We thank you for God and with that strong church and our strong hands we can continuously advance your kingdom and that's what we want. We want to be used by you God. We want to be vessels fit for you, for your good use. God I thank you. As we step out into this dark world today we step out as lights. Uh, we wear the belt of truth around our ways. The helmet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. God we wear sandals of peace. We carry the shield of faith and the sword of spirit which is your word. Let your word be hidden in our hearts that we will not sin against you. Father we Thank you for Avery today. We thank you for her healing and restoration. We thank you for joy and strength today, that he is indeed a mouthpiece for you. We thank you for Jahai making math, God. We thank you, God, that you will deliver. You will make a way for Shania. You will make a way. You're made the way already. We thank you for this morning for Mariah Grace, that she is healthy and strong, that heart is beating healthy and strong. For baby Gabriel, God, we thank you that he is healthy and strong. God, we thank you for the life of Monica Sykes, that we will not forget. Lord, be with her family. Let them know the struggle is over, that you are giving them victory in every area. You're giving them victory in this court case. God, you're giving them victory in everything else that has come up against them. Lord, you have given them the victory, and we thank you for today. Lord, we open our mouths and declare today is going to be an amazingly great day filled with miracles and signs and wonders and breakthroughs. We believe. We believe. We stand on Mark 11 and 24 today, and we know that whatsoever we ask you in prayer, you will give us the answers, and so we thank you for this morning. Lord, thank you for blessing our time together. Warriors, whatever your petitions are, uh, just type it in. The struggle is over. Whatever you've been struggling with, whatever your issues have been, been, past tense, type it in and say, Lord, I thank you that you delivered me from this. I thank you, God, that you've moved this mountain in my life. I thank you that I speak victory with my own tongue, the tongue that you give me the the power with. Thank you that my mouth has power. My words have power. So I speak life over my situation. I speak life over my circumstances. I speak life over my finances. The struggle is over. I speak life over my marriage. I speak life over my relationships. I speak life over my mind, over my health, over my strength, over my job, over everything that concerns us. We speak life. Oh, breath of God, breathe into our situations today. Thank you for your word. The struggle is over. Thank you for putting us on our feet for good. We bless you, Daddy. We love you. We worship you. And Lord, I just want to thank you for bringing me out. Thank you for delivering me, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to cross that finish line. And as you've done it for me on this glorious day, allow my brothers and sisters all over the world to join in and cross that finish line so that we can hear you say, well done, God. That when we get to the places where you would have us to be, when we're tapping destiny, when we're actually living out our dreams, the dreams that we have chased for so long, God, that one day we're going to be able to sit back and say, we made it. And it was by your grace and your grace alone. We bless you today, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I love you guys. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. Uh, let me just say this before we go. Brittany graduated, and she'll know I'm going to say this, but let me just say this before we go real quick. Um, remember I told you when I when I went to my people at my job and I said I need to drop down to part-time, they started, they called HR, Human Resources, and they told me all the things that I was going to lose. And as they told me all the things that I was going to lose, the Lord began to tell me all the things that I was going to gain because you'll never lose when you follow your dreams, your God-given dreams. And when you chase destiny, a God-given destiny, you will never lose. And so as they kept telling me, you're going to lose this, you're going to lose that, you're not going to have this, you're going to have to work until you're 200 years old because your retirement is going to be so small. You know, they kept telling me all these things. And I was like, but God, I trust you because he said in his word, whatever you give up for his sake he's going to give it back to you 100 fold return so i just want to say with Brittany, you know britney has been by my side for three years and 
you know, Brittany finished massage therapy school. She finished the program a couple months ago and she hasn't been able to work as a massage therapist because guess what? She's helping me build this ministry. And so in, in addition to that, you know, we both were dropping down to part time beginning next week after next week, uh, just working three days a week. You know, of course she has to do whatever I do because we can't do it without each other. And so at first they were going to work with her on her job and allow her to do three days a week. And then people started complaining and you know, how people don't want to see you do stuff. And so she's not going to be able to work her three days a week. Uh, so she's had, she's going to resign. And I just want to say that let's pray for Brittany. I know God has her like, and I know my resignation probably isn't far behind, but what I want to say is we trust God. And although it looks like we may be losing, we're not going to lose. And so we're living out this faith walk right in front of y'all. Uh, I just want to thank God for Brittany today because she doesn't have to do this. Like she does, she doesn't, she's just being obedient to God, but she doesn't have to. She could be going off somewhere being a massage therapist. She could be somewhere off working her regular job, but she believes in what God's called us to do. And so it takes that leap of faith. And so I just wanted to share that with y'all this morning. That And then, you know, I had a six-figure income. Had, H-A-D, but I trust God. So, you know, even though Brittany's leaving completely, what, what, I, what I'm leaving is probably two or three jobs for somebody else. But I trust God because I know that he is, and my whole point in saying that was to say that God has put our feet on solid ground for good. When my husband left his job and I encouraged him to lose his job, the risk weren't as high because I knew that if something happened and he wasn't successful, I knew that I could afford on my own to pay all the bills. So even though I encouraged him and I, I believe in my husband, he's amazing. I encouraged him. The risk were not as high, but when I came to him, and he knows my income, of course, for him to say, I support you 100%. That's what I'm talking about. I support you 100% because he believes in what God has called me to do. And so we know, and I told him, I said, you know what? Even though it looks like we're going to lose, I know that our feet are on solid ground for good. I looked him in his eyes. I said, you know what? All this struggle we've had, it's over. All these hours I've been in this prayer closet and he didn't complain. All these hours I've been on these videos with y'all and he didn't complain. All the nights I have not cooked. I have not mopped. I have not swept. I have not done anything. Clothes all over the house. And he never complained because he believed in what God had called me to do. And now I can say, you know what? God is making a way and that struggle is over. And so I just want to thank my husband this morning, you know, for allowing me to spend the time that I spend with y'all and for not complaining because he could have been around here saying, where's my hot meal and why haven't you cleaned up? all the nights I've been up. There have been times when Britt and I have stayed up all night long praying and just doing things and just believing God that one day he was going to put our feet on solid ground. And so I can sit here before you today and say he's done it. My feet are on solid ground as we keep building this ministry together. I just want to thank you guys. And I want to thank my husband, LaVon, this morning because he didn't have to support me. And clearly when I said I'm leaving my income, you know, leaving that job, he could have said, wait a minute, I think you need to rethink this. You know, you need to give it more time. But he said, I support you 100%. And that means more to me than anything. And so I just want to share with you guys this morning. We're jumping out there. But we know that God will provide. We know that he has made a way. We know that our feet are on solid ground. This is it. There's no turning back from here. We're not going to lose. We're only going to gain. And so that's the word for you today, too. The struggle is over. He's putting you on your feet for good. Don't be afraid. I'm not even afraid anymore. I'm ready. Don't be afraid. Okay, I don't want to hold you guys too long. I love you, but I wanted to share that. My, that's right, my Boaz that I prayed for. Um, I love you guys so much. Please share this video. It's going to encourage somebody. Make sure you get your miracle throw and whatever else you want to get off of the site. But we're going to submit this order in about no more than 72 hours. Love you guys very much. See y'all later. Bye, IG. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord.